Bum 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 bum. The Peter dislike show. Bum 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 bum. I'm really excited to see the news that uh, they are working on an asteroid that may contain elements we've never seen before, up to atomic number 164. I gotta see what 164 is, uh, where it is on the periodic table. Uh, I did some machine learning at one point to see about the stability of... Uh, some of the other isotopes of um, the, some of the transuranic elements that have since been discovered. And so what's really interesting is that as you go past uranium, it's you potentially need a lot more neutrons to have a, um, a stable element, right? So for most light elements like carbon or oxygen, you have roughly a one-to-one -one ratio. By the time you get to bismuth or lead or uranium or gold, you have more like 1.5 to 1. And I suspect even further down, you need more like 2 to 1. And I did some machine learning. What I did was I entered all of the isotopes that we know today and their half-lives and their mode of decay, consumed that into a neural network, and then projected out into the higher elements. And what I discovered was that um, fluorovium, Moscovium and Livermorium, some of the isotopes of those things have half-lives in the tens, tens of millions of years. And that's really exciting, for, especially Moscovium. I'd love to make a crystal out of it. When I was a kid, I was actually more fascinated with the element that was directly below gold. And I, I hadn't learned very much about chemistry at the time, and I thought the only reason we hadn't discovered any of that was because it would be sunk very deep into the earth, right? And uh, also at the time, um, my family and I used to go to Taiwan a lot. And I thought, wouldn't it be nice if we could dig a hole all the way to Taiwan and just jump in the hole whenever we wanted to? And so I went to our backyard and I started digging for two reasons. One, to travel to Taiwan, and two, to look for element 111, which hadn't even been given a name at the time. On the periodic table, it used to be called UUU for 111, right? Un, 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 uh, EM or something like that, right? Um, and I started digging, and my dad was so upset that I was digging in their backyard. And um, I, I, I got fascinated. Every time I pull out an interesting rock, I would measure the density, see if there's anything crazy, and... Uh, Nothing came of it, obviously. I hadn't uh, learned about... Um, see, I don't know if any of the rocks I pulled out had any metals. Nowadays, I would maybe try a carbothermal reduction of some sort. I hadn't learned about that at the time. I didn't have all the gear that I have nowadays either. But uh, the first thing I'm going to do when I get a hold of some Moscovium is to pour uh, a, a statue of... Uh, one of the cathedrals in Moscow. I haven't been able to find any sort of silicone mold for that, though. I'd love to try it with, you know, the lighter cousin of Moscovia, just to see what it might look like. But I haven't even found the mold for that yet, let alone get any Moscovia. Anyways, uh, real exciting news. Uh, I, I wonder if we do manage to collect some of that asteroid back home. I, I, uh, I, I don't think the... If some of that metal were to come to sale, I don't think that would be a good investment, by the way, because eventually we might just make that stuff artificially, right? This is the Peter Dislike Show. Bum, 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 The Peter Dislike Show. Bum, 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 bum.